probably one of the most heinous acts I've seen in my career. It's, it's absolutely disgusting. The facts of this case are deplorable and sickening. Saddest of all, they were made public by the suspect's decision to videotape portions of this horrific. Are we becoming the new KKK? Uh, we are terrorizing our own people like they, they terrorized us back in the day. We're doing that at a crazy clip. And this right here is a new example of that. So out in Alabama, it's probably one of the most disturbing, despicable, nastiest crimes I've heard about since I've been doing content. And the crazy part about it, you guys may or may not even heard about this. A mother, a mother was tortured, was gang raped, was got murdered out in Alabama. And you hear something like that, you're like, damn, why does not making national news? And it's so sad because <sighs> stories like this get buried. And, I, and I'm starting to realize when the news don't have the right kind of um, formula to make it national news, they won't talk about this story. This is disgusting. And this is a, this could be more ammo for a podcast episode that I'm trying to put together that I'm going to share with you guys in some time that are we becoming the new KKK? And what I mean by that is not, we're not going to have the power like the KKK have, but we're going to, we are terrorizing our own people like they, they terrorized us back in the day. We're doing that at a crazy clip. And this right here is a new example of that. This right here is a new example of what we're doing to each other and what we said that we didn't want to be done to us. So I'm going to share this clip with you guys coming from WVTM News out in Alabama. And after that, man, you know, I'll give you guys my thoughts and opinion on it. So let's get to this clip right here. Now, as always, I put links in the description so you guys could check this video out in its entirety. All right, let's go. Probably one of the most heinous acts I've seen in my career. It's, it's absolutely disgusting. Birmingham police arrest more than half a dozen people in a young mother's deadly kidnapping. Thanks for joining us at 10. I'm Guy Rawlings. And I'm Sherry Falk. Mahogany Jackson's body was found earlier this week in the Powderly neighborhood. BPD says that seven people have been charged with her murder. WVTM 13's Gladys Bautista has the latest. The facts of this case are deplorable and sickening. Saddest of all, they were made public by the suspect's decision to videotape portions of this horrific act. Strong words from Birmingham Police Chief Scott Thurman Wednesday as he announced the arrest of these seven people in the death of 20-year-old Mahogany Jackson. So these seven people tortured, raped, and murdered and kidnapped Mahogany Jackson, 20 years old, a mother. And the reason why you're not seeing this on national news, the reason why this is not coming across your timeline when you scroll on social media, because look at these people. They all look like us. When something like this happened, they look like us. There is no fear that's being put out there. There's no white boogeyman, white supremacy to blame. And that's why this is being put under wraps. Seven people, seven people, you got three women and four men who kidnapped tortured and raped and murdered an oh, innocent woman. Let's continue on, man. All of these individuals were acquaintances, that they were not strangers to one another. And disturbing new details of what took place before Jackson was killed. We have determined that Mahogany was a victim of sexual assault with murder and kidnapping. The ordeal beginning on Sunday when Thurman says Jackson sent the family member a text message saying she had been kidnapped. You know, our investigators spent all day out, all most of that night, trying to locate her, following up on leads to see where she could be and things of that nature. And then, she, you know, unfortunately, a few hours later, we received information of where her body was. Early Monday morning on Laurel Avenue in the Powderly neighborhood is where the missing persons case became a murder investigation mm. after Jackson was found shot. But Thurman credits Birmingham residents with what happened next. With assistance from the community, detectives not, were, on, were not only able to locate Mahogany Jackson's body, but detectives took seven suspects responsible 
for Mahogany's murder into custody within 48 hours of this investigation. Well, that's good that people are working with the police to get these people off the streets because that's crazy. Usually it's uh, be quiet as kept. Don't say nothing. I got nothing to do with me. Keep my head down. But I'm glad to hear that. I'm glad that they broke away from that tradition of trying to be quiet as kept. And they actually say, you know, we need to work with the police to get these people off the streets. Kudos to those people out in Birmingham that helped out with this. But let's continue on. Now, Giovanni Clapp, Blair Green, Francis Harris, Tasia Lewis, Sanaya McCall, Jeremiah McDowell, and Brandon Pope all sit behind bars. All are charged with murder, and six of the seven also face charges for sodomy and kidnapping. There's videos of some of these heinous acts taking place, and that's something that led, uh, was a pivotal piece in the investigation. So they video recorded this. So they tortured and raped this woman, and they video recorded it. God, like I said, we are becoming what they said. We are becoming what we said we scared of. We are becoming that. And like I said, I'm glad to hear that the people helped out and trying to help the police find these people when they found these people in the first 48. But you, they recorded it. <laughs> the tragic end of a horrific ordeal for the young mother and her family, who police say organized a search party before officers found her body. Thurman now hoping these arrests send a message. This is the outcomes that we can have when we all work together. We can have get these people off the street very quickly to ensure the safety of everyone in Birmingham when we all work together and information is shared. Gladys Bautista, WVTM 3. All right, so you seen that, you heard that, man. We are we are literally becoming the new clan. That is Something that you hear about back in the days out in Alabama that, you know, um, some story of a young woman that got kidnapped and tortured by some Klansmen or by some some hate group. That's the story that you hear. You, now you now you hearing that in 2024 about black people doing that to black people, torturing, gang raping and kidnapping a black woman and killing her, putting her body out there and recording this whole thing. And this 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 sergeant who had to watch this, or this chief of police who had to watch this, I, those images probably can't get out of his head. I'm glad that the community worked with the police on this one. And we had to break away from that man. We can't keep having this this mindset of we can't work with the police or after police. You know, sometimes there are dirty cops out there, but the cops are here to take away the bad guys, and we can't have those seven people on the streets. Kidnapping, raping, torturing, murdering. Can't have that. That's disgusting. Can't have that at all, man. And like I said, man, I'm really going to work on that that podcast episode. So make sure you guys uh, join the newsletter, follow, subscribe, join wherever you're watching this at and realize that we need to figure this out. We need to come together. We need to come to grips and come to, come to something because this ain't it. This ain't going to work out. This ain't working out at all, man. But let me know how you guys feel about this in the comments, man. I meet you guys down there. This is sad. This is really sad that a uh, uh, black woman, mother, 20 years old, beginning of her life, got raped, kidnapped, tortured, murdered. <laughs> so sad, man. But leave something in the comments, man. Appreciate you guys. All right, man. Till next time. Peace. Real Rap Ron is signing off. All right, later. One.